Hey guys, Mirror Mask here. Um, we're playing a little Secret World. I'm going to show you guys a trick, well, an area that I grind my XP and SP at. And it's super efficient, it's super short, and you get a whole lot of XP in a short amount of time. Now as you can see, I've got um, two windows open. One of them's my loot window. So you guys will see what kind of, you know, how much loot I'm getting on just a single run. And the other one is to show you how much XP I'm getting on a single loop. Very short loop. Um, where we're at, we're in the shadowy forest here. Let me pull up the map so you guys can see exactly where we're at. Let me zoom out. We're right here. See up top, the shadowy forest. You'll come out the tree. You'll turn to the right. Well, on the map it's to the right. It's to the left in game. And you'll run up here to uh, this area right here and the loop you're going to be making is going to be going through this little area right here and I'll show you exactly the path that you're going to take to be most efficient now there are two elite mobs in this little run here you do not want to pull those well there's three sometimes you don't even come close to the third one but if you do decide to go that extra route for that one extra mob make sure you don't do it when the elite mobs there um, the only reason I say not to do it with the elite mobs not to kill them not to pull them is it just takes so much time to burn them down compared to just doing quick quick loops I mean these things are super fast respawning in this area and um, let's jump in and I'll let you guys see exactly uh, the kind of XP and the kind of loot that I'm getting on this little run um, quick little note on my gear I don't have anything super special here um, I, you know no major epic gear here it's all just blue gear um, this primary build that I'm using right here is mainly focused on 360 degree AOE damage with some heal over times if you're using the blade or the hammer anything that's got a spammable AOE that's 360 degrees around you will work for this because you're not going to be fighting these things toe to toe you're just going to run in a straight line pulling these things behind you and doing the damage I'll um I'll do a run through here real quick and let you guys see what it is that it looks like and how it works and what the XP looks like alright here we go get them coming now I've got shields and hots that automatically pop on me to keep me, uh, you know, self-healed and shielded. Now there's an elite right up here. We're going to completely miss him. We're not going to even grab him. We're going to run through this door here. Right through here. We're going to run into this barn. Keep spamming that that AOE uh, spammable skill. Don't ever stop spamming it this entire run. We're gonna come out this door. We're not gonna go up there. There's an elite up there. We're gonna grab these two. We're gonna run through here. There's one in here. We're gonna grab that. We're running a straight line here. We're gonna run around this trough here. Do a wide arc, give it time for your skills to uh, hit the things behind you. We're gonna run around this corpse here. Up there, we're gonna miss those. There's an elite up there. We're gonna come by and pick up these two. We're gonna circle around this post here. Then we're gonna go through this barn. We're gonna grab them. We're gonna head up here. We're gonna grab them. Run around this post. Grab these two. Now, I like to do a little circle here. Just run around this area. Just, you know, because if you run too far away from these things, they will reset. And I just like to, you know, get all the kills efficiently. So I run a little loop there because usually you'll have about six of them on you. Then I'll run a loop right here. And go ahead and get these guys dropped. And there you go. 
and then I will run turn on my sprint I'll run the exact same path again spamming the V key which is my loot key we'll run around and we'll grab all the loot that dropped from that that run as you can see on the left hand side of the window that was a tremendous amount of XP in a very short amount of time loot all this up here this and uh, keep an eye on the mini map so you know you know exact the exact route that I'm taking so you guys can can uh, mimic the route and then we got all the loot then we'll come right here we'll just hang out right here you're in a safe spot here nothing will nothing will get you right here and then you'll wait 10 15 20 30 seconds something around that um, everything will respawn and then you'll run the route again but as you can see over here I mean look at all this XP this is a ton of XP in a short amount of time now if you watch my bar below the um, if, if you're familiar with the game you'll understand what the blue bar is and you'll understand what the orange part of the bar is watch this as I run this next run I mean watch my bar and watch how efficient this is now if you do this with uh, something out of the cash shop that boosts uh, your SP for every one SP you get you get two SP instead you will just gain a tremendous amount of skill points here I mean we'll open this up here look at my ability will as you can see I've got 58.1% completion now I haven't played this game in a while um, I just decided to jump on, make a video, show you guys the route that it is that I take in this game. Show you the build that it is that I use. Here's my loadout right here on equipped abilities. I'm using Forking Path, Balance Blade. These are my shields and stuff. I got Blood Shield, Turn the Tables. I rarely use Ignition, but that's kind of my range deal there. I'll just flip through and, and hover over these so you guys can see what it is that I'm using. Passives. Now, the symmetry that I'm using in these skills basically that's what's popping all these shields on me that's what's giving me the heal over times that's what's allowing me to proc things off of other things that have procced the way this game works and if you if you've played it you know exactly how this works if you haven't um, it's all about the synergy in your skills you may hit one skill that puts you know a hinder state on a target and then you have passives that proc off that hindered state so you do one hit it pops a hinder you pop a heal over time you pop a shield on yourself you pop additional damage to it all off that one hit there's a lot of things that that work with synergy together in this game as far as passives and active ability goes um, we'll go over here and uh... this right here is a lot a lot of people don't really use the ability search thing but this is a good way to find abilities that work together for example I can go in here I can type hinder now this will show me all the passive and active abilities that either proc off of hinder or give hinder you'll use the ability search to come up with your builds and stuff it's the most efficient way to do it I mean you can do a bunch of trial and error stuff you can equip stuff go out in the field see how it works yada 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 but the ability search tab which a lot of people just don't seem to use it as much as they should this is a very good place to find you know specific skills that do specific things and passives that proc off those specific states that are set by those skills um, deck loadouts I don't really use those too much alright see everything's respawned here um, we'll do one more run make sure you watch the bar below and watch how my XP is progressing through this one single run here. All right, here we go.
times propping on me. I got this bubble shields propping on me. Every, all these things propping together are what allow me to survive while I'm doing this and stay at almost full health the entire time. Now this build I use specifically for grinding in this area. Running this exact route. That is what this build was designed and built for. You can actually, I mean, you can do this run while spamming the V key and picking up loot as you go, but I do it this way because it kind of, it gives me something to do while I'm waiting on the mobs to respawn. Just something to help burn up some of the time is the only reason that, that I do a loot run. And in the event that I may have missed a couple of mobs, it's good to come around a second time. Now, if you want even more XP and, and, and you've got better gear on and things like that, you can come to this area and you can pull the Elites. I mean, there's nothing wrong. I Personally, I pull them most of the time. It's just that, you know, I don't want to die on the video and look all like, like, oh shit, and have to refill my video. So I'm just playing it safe just for the video purposes. But I do pull the Elites sometimes. But um, there you go. I'll show you the map again where we're at. We're in the shadowy forest right here in this little village area you come out the tree right here turn to the left and run up here matter of fact I'll go ahead and run to the tree real quick and show you the exact path that you'll take to get to this area XP bars looking good look at all this XP these are these are big XP per kill things I mean these are you're talking 2200 XP per kill here I mean, this isn't, you know, two or three hundred XP. Look at these XPs. This is 2,216 XP per kill. If I had XP boosters on or something like that, it would do a huge bit to my XP bar per round. Um, as you can see, my loot window's here. I'm picking up some decent loot here. All right, here we are. You'll come out of the tree here. You'll turn to the left, and you'll just run straight. Just run straight, and you cannot miss the camp if you turn to the left and just run straight. You'll jump across this little river right here. And then there's the opening in the fence right here. This is the starting to the path. All right, well, um, if you guys like the video, uh, please subscribe, like it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. Um, I hope you guys have a good day, and I hope you enjoyed my little secret XP SP path in the secret world. Peace.